So today's Farage at Large is here in the historic city of Portsmouth. I'm now in the Naval Dockyard having a look around. And what a history this is. Everything from the days of Henry VIII, you can come and visit the wreck of the Mary Rose. You can also, when it's open, come of course and see HMS Victory, where Nelson fell during the Battle of Trafalgar. Today we're going to board HMS Warrior, the first ironclad, a ship launched in 1860, said to be Queen Victoria's favourite ship. But that history doesn't just go way back in time. Think about this place 80 years ago this week, the Normandy invasion, and of course 40 years ago, the Falklands. Royal Navy taking men to the Falklands from, once again, Portsmouth. Today we have just over there one of our aircraft carriers and it's still a busy, active naval dockyard. And in many ways, England's greatness came above all from this city of Portsmouth. This is the real business end. So it's really interesting, you know, you've got sort of 60 years since the Battle of Trafalgar and you come onto this ship being launched. Um, but even this becomes obsolete within a few years' time. It's the peak, it's the height of the Industrial Revolution. Things are changing. Dreadnoughts replaced this. But it is, if you look at it, a pretty amazing uh, piece of kit. Much heavier cannons than they had that half a century earlier at Falga. Uh, but it really is, it really is magnificent. Uh, 700 men. And actually, they had some hygiene because they had steam and hot water and even, I'm told, early washing machines. So it's a massive step forward. But as I say, it doesn't stand still for very long. Technology moves on really, really quickly. But if you come to Portsmouth, there's everything from the Mary Rose right up to World War II to come and visit. This is Portsmouth Old and New. We're here on Warrior. She's an enormous vessel. There's the Spinnaker, one of the more modern attractions. And you know what? Actually, for a day out, Pompey takes a bit of beating. <laughs> 